friends, Shayla here, and I am here to talk to you today about the March releases on my radar. So in the month of March, there are quite a few releases that are on my radar. If you are not familiar with this series on my channel, this is where I talk about things that will be releasing in the month of March. That is books and manga primarily. Occasionally there will be other things thrown in there, but primarily books and manga because that is the focus of my particular collecting style. So with that in mind, let's dig in to the things I am excited about in the month of March. So let's start with March 5th. So the first one we're going to mention is Kakuryo Bed and Breakfast for Spirits Volume 2. I really enjoyed my read of the first one, so I am excited to continue on in the series and see how I feel moving forward. I will be collecting this as it goes, as long as I continue to like the series. If it gets to a point where I feel like it's dragging or I'm not enjoying it, I'll put a pause on collecting it because that's how I tend to work. So next up is Behind the Scenes Volume 6. Now, I've only read the first volume of Behind the Scenes, so I am behind in collecting it, but as you can see from previous videos, I still like to be up on when they're publishing so that I can know how much I need to catch up on, I guess you could say for all intents and purposes. The next one is actually a poetry collection and that is The Mermaid's Voice Returns in this one by Amanda Lovelace. I loved the first collection, did not love the second collection, but I am hopeful that I will enjoy the third collection of hers. Next up, we have a release from my friends at Forever Romance that they've already sent me an arc of and that is Day of the Dragon by Katie McAllister. This continues on in the same world as Memoirs of a Dragon Hunter. So slightly different than her other dragon series from what I can gather, but, or at, le at least follows different sex of dragon, not S-E-X, S-E-C-T-S. -E I realize that can get lost in translation there. But yes, I am really excited. I'm, I'm already currently reading this actually and really enjoying it. Katie McAllister's writing style is just something that speaks to me and I end up really enjoying the series. And the other one is going to be my next read actually, and that is Springtime at Hope College. Again, this Hope Cottage, not college. And that again is a publication by my friends at Forever Romance. They have sent me a physical arc. I am so excited for this. It is just one of those small town romance kind of stories and I really like those. That they just, they just speak to my heart. Now we will move on to March 12th. And the first one on this list is an obvious one and that is Girl From The Other Side, Volume 6. I adore this series. Um, I started collecting it before Volume 4 released. So only three volumes were out when I started collecting this one. I quite enjoy it. This is about a young girl who ends up living with this person called an outsider and her experiences with him and they're trying to figure out why she can handle that when most humans can't. So it's a really interesting story. Next up is one that I was completely surprised to find out was coming out and it's called Shout by Lori Hulse Anderson. This is, from what I understand, this is her follow-up to Speak which is a book that I am very excited was ever created as it depicts a young woman who is raped at a party before she starts her freshman year of high school and how the social fallout happens because she calls the cops at the party because that happened and just what happens and the PTSD that she feels in experience after the rape because she hasn't talked to anybody about it. So Shout, I believe, is her follow-up to that. I am so excited for this novel. I'm excited to see how it goes, how her writing holds up, because it's been, I think, 20 years since Speak came out. So to have something new will be fantastic. I'm really excited about it. This next one is tentatively on my radar, and that is The Waking Forest by Alyssa Weiss. I've heard good and bad things about this one thus far. This is supposed to be for fans of the Hazelwood is kind of what I'm hearing. And I liked the Hazelwood fine, but it was not my favorite. So I might wait for a few more reviews to come out on that one before I actually pick that one up. And then the next one is When the Sky Fell on Splendor by Emily Henry. This looks to be a space opera. I'm loving all of the space books I've been reading recently or the space related stories. So this one's definitely on my radar for that reason. And I am really excited about it. I've not read any Emily Henry. I hope I get along with her writing. Now we're moving on to March 19th. March 19th, the first thing we're going to talk about is The Ancient Magus Bride, The Silver Yarn. Now this is the second light novel short story compilation in The Ancient Magus Bride world. 
and I am so here for it. I really liked the first one for the most part, so I am really excited to read the second one. The next one we have here is again volume seven. This is a story about a high schooler who, through an accident, ends up waking up once again on his first day of high school to kind of do it over again. So it's really interesting and I just finished volume four and where that left off like shook my world. So I really need to pick up volumes five and six pretty quick so I can jump into volume seven when it comes out later in March. Next is another forever romance title and that is Taming Her Mate. Now this is definitely a paranormal romance and I really think it's going to be a fun time. So I really I'm looking forward to digging into this because I love me some paranormal smut. It makes me happy. All right, so the next one is Return of the Thief by Megan Wallen Turner. I have loved this Thief series. I forget the actual name of the series. I just call it the Thief series. And this is book six in this series. I am so excited to finally be getting this book because the first four released... And then there was a huge pause and then the fifth one released last year and now we're getting the sixth one. I'm, I'm here for it. I am so here for it. It's going to be a good time. I've done all of them on audio thus far, so I will most likely continue in that format. But I am, either way, I'm really excited that this is coming out. The next is The Weight of Stars by Kay Sanctum. Now this is a contemporary that talks about space, but it's not really a space book. So I am... I've only heard amazing things from people that I trust about this one. So I'm going in kind of blind and trusting these ladies and we'll see how I feel about it. And last for March 19th is going to be Sherwood by Megan Spooner. Now this is a Robin Hood retelling. I've not really read any Robin Hood retellings. So I am interested to see how this one goes down. I've heard good and bad things about Megan Spooner's writing. So we'll see how I feel about it. We are now on March 26th. And this is As Miss Beelzebub Likes, Volume 5. This is a series that I've slowly started collecting. I'm really enjoying it thus far. This is about Miss Beelzebub, obviously, in the demon world. And she loves all things fluffy, despite who she is. And this is about her interactions with her assistant and how they kind of navigate things together. So, And then we also have Hard Loving Cowboy. This is another title coming out by my friends at Forever Romance. I am super excited to get another cowboy romance from these people because I like the cowboy romances that I've read from this publisher. So I'm just being on brand here, you know. And last but not least on March 26th is Sky Without Stars. Oh my goodness, this is a Les Mis in space retelling. My heart is living for it. I forgot to grab it, but Connor over at Connor Bryan kindly sent me his arc that he received from Tor because he knew he wasn't going to be able to get to the source material and the arc in time due to his school schedule. So he was a gem and sent that along to me. Thank you again, Connor. You're an angel. I will leave him linked down below. So if you are not following Connor, shame on you. Go follow him. He's amazing. He does some of my favorite reviews in the community. So definitely go check out Connor if you haven't. And yes, that is all of the releases on my radar for the month of March. Let me know what's on your radar for the month of March. Let me know what I've missed because I'm always looking for great reads. Thanks again for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.